different textures and heights, but this is a trumpet like I've never seen before. I know, right? Okay, people are used to something that we had for many years called a trumpet vine. Right. It's really tall, it grows 30 feet in a year. And, and, and it, unless you have like a, a huge extension ladder and are, are willing to get up there, you can't yeah. do anything with it. But the nice thing is it's a vine which attracts hummingbirds. Right. Well, we have a lot of space on the ground to cover too. Why not, you know, we thought let's bring the brother of that or the sister, which has the same <laughs> shaped flowers, which draws hummingbirds and pollinators, but it's a ground cover. It only grows four to six inches tall and blooms for five months. Okay, let's just back up. Four to six inches tall. So a ground cover with a five month bloom time. Now I need to share something with you. My producer just reminded me that this is the only quantities of the season and I have less than 2000 available. So. Derek, when we're looking at the screen, talk to me about what we're seeing, but then talk to me how you intersperse them with other yeah. pieces. So well, this is the first year we've ever had this. We thought, wow, this is so awesome. Bright, flaming red flowers in the ground, you know, five months out of the year. This comes back year after year. This comes traditionally from Southwest. Wow. It's used to hot, intense heat, droughts, mm -hmm. but it handles the winter down to negative 25 below zero. Wow. So you can grow this anywhere, and you can see such a sea of color. Inter Min, uh, intermixes with everything else in sure. the garden really nicely. There it is, isolated. The trumpet-shaped flowers, hummingbirds, there's nectar inside of each one of these. Okay, normally you don't get the hummingbirds at that oh, level. No, never. You know what, they're usually up high. But I have to say, it, it really is a perennial? It's a true perennial. Wow. It comes back every year, and they grow and expand. One collection the first year will do, you know, this plus maybe half size You're kidding. More. Yeah. So talk to me about how they come, and you did mix them with other things here, right? So they yeah, play so, well with others? Yeah, because we've got these mixed with our sedum, our stone crop. These both grow in the same environments because the hummingbird creeper is great at restoring and repairing eroded, rocky areas. Mm -hmm. If you have areas that you just have trouble watering or it dries out a lot, if you plant these, they will totally nourish that space and hold it together and produce tons of flowers. So what about if I had like a raised uh, retention wall planter? Would it get too hot? Could no. they still do fine they with that? They love heat. These are from Arizona, New Mexico, oh, those nice. hot, hot areas. And, and we intermixed the them with vibrancy. stone crop to give you the impression, okay, most people, gardeners, they already have other ground covers sure. or mulch in the ground. You're gonna be placing these in between. You know, it's not just that we're gonna have one big block of red. This is how it's gonna look naturalized in the garden. Okay, this is phenomenal. Now, show me how it comes because you're yeah. actually gonna get six pieces. We are launching this today. It is the only quantities of the season. And I gotta tell you, if your neighbors aren't watching right now, they don't have this. Oh yeah, this they is do not really have hard this. to find. I've never seen this in big box stores. Oh, never. Down. And what we're giving you, six plants, they've gone through their first winter. That means they've been vernalized. They're tough as nails already. Their root system is very, very thick. When you get these home and you plant them, expect flowers this June, all okay. the way up to the first frost. All right, so let's just say we're on to next year. Can you divide these and move them around or will they just kind of do it on their own? Do they we need do to give, them, own, they are give their, them a big space when we plant them? They expand on their own. They're not super duper fast and not so. They're a nice average pace. They're okay. not invasive in any way. Good. But you can see so many flowers, like I mentioned, they begin flowering in June and they go all the way to the first frost in October, no November, depending on where okay. you live, if it's California. Five, month five months. bloom time. That's unheard you imagine of. Imagine that in your so garden So what does it look months. like in the winter? Do I have to mow it down? Do it, I just leave it, it alone, or what do I do? Yeah, it just dies back, and it comes back in the spring with a nice green foliage. It creates these dense mats of color so easily. And the thing is, because these are totally drought tolerant, when you place these in a sunny or part sunny area, you don't have to be worried, oh, you know, I, I missed watering today. Sure. No, once a week. What about shade? Does it yeah. need some sun or can it I do shade? It does need about a half day of sun. Okay. Um, here's what's going on. Launch these today, only quantities of the season, and I have 1,600 left. Remind me again, one set, which is six plants, will yep. expand to how much about square footage about? 10 to 12 square feet. So that's 10 to 12 square feet in your garden that hummingbirds, literally, I've seen it. Hummingbirds come in, they dive in, they hover so around. Cool. And you know, it's not this level, it's on the ground, four to six inches. You see hummingbirds hanging out, butterflies, bees. Oh, They're full nice. of nectar, these flowers. I love that. So could this be a mulch alternative? M totally. I mean, because as a ground cover, could I mix it with my hens and chicks and can I do it with the sedum and the tapestry and all that? You can mix it with 
everything. I mean, these photos, it's just close-ups of the flowers, but imagine, actually right here, you see on the right, that's the campsus, the trumpet vine that grows yes, up yes. next to the trumpet vine that grows down. You so know, brother I, and sister like that. I think of all the, you know, the lawns that have a, a, a little hill and you don't want to mow that and you're thinking, what yeah. do I do? And you don't want to just oh, put totally. green. This would be the perfect this alternative. Is, I mean, this is meant for eroded areas, for areas which are dry, rocky soil. You don't want to amend it, it costs too much. Well, I gotta tell you, like my mom's in Vegas. Mm -hmm. They are on, you know, drought cycles where they can't water. Could, would this be okay oh there? Oh my God, this is where you're supposed to be planting those, this plant. Wow, it, and you still get color and that gorgeous succulent leaf. Yeah. It's actually not really succulent, but it's got a thickness to it. It's definitely got a thickness. Now the thing is with these flowers, because you're getting five months of That's bang bright for buck. red trumpet shaped flowers, when you place these in the ground, expect it to you know outshine anything else. So. Make sure like you're not gonna have competing colors because really these are like intense. They and, are super, they super so, red. That's why we interplant it with our sedums, which are more dull mm -hmm. and less vibrant to Well, it adds a nice each other. height and texture too. Yeah. I, when you look at these little trumpet flowers and the personality and the way that mm -hmm. they drape, it is like you've got one of the most magnificent bouquets from the most expensive florist and it did it by itself. Yeah. I love that. Now, here's what I'll share with you. You're getting six pieces for just under $30. If you're shopping with your Q card, you can upgrade to Easy Pay. You can do it on three Easy Payments. You still get the free shipping and handling. But I'll tell you, if you are looking for a perennial show-stopping color, this, yep. is, this is investment gardening at its finest because it is a beautiful variety that you're not going to find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Most ground covers that I know they bloom for one or two months. Yeah, it's a bummer. These are five months of solid color. I mean, Got that right to there love is that one. Hey, by the way, I mentioned some hens and chicks, and we're going to have that with Eric in just a few minutes. This is a complete set of just hens and chicks. Will it work with your tapestry? Sure. Will it work with your uh, trumpet?